My top AUV3s. Let's check it out. So um, these plugins are the ones that I go to the most in my music production right now, at least. Um, and and there's a lot of really dope plugins you can get on iOS. Um, and I've I've been checking out some some new ones, but the ones that I keep coming back to are these. So let me pull up the first one here. First one is module pro recently module pro became an auv3 plugin it was only inner app audio compatible and not auv3 and that was a bummer because it has a lot of really good sounds in it but once it became auv3 i was so pumped i'll just show you some of the some of the sounds we get here so you got you know lots of different instruments built in here these are all pianos like there's just loads well, actually, we've ventured into e-piano territory. So you've got your acoustic pianos, and then you've got e-pianos, which are these right here. And then you've got your organ sounds, which are here. You know, pretty long lists of instruments here. So, you know, claves, for those of you that know clavinovas. Uh, you got some string pads, you got brass wind. I mean, there's just categories on categories. There's so many sounds loaded in here. And there's other instruments that you can get. And I think in order to get those, you have to be in the standalone app and not in the AV3 plugin. But yeah, that's Module Pro. Uh, I haven't actually checked the price on it recently. When I bought it, it was $40. My next one, and this is a staple, Ravenscroft 275. This right here is, in my opinion, the best, and not just my opinion, many others, it's the best just acoustic piano sampling that I've ever heard on an iPad. It sounds really, really, really realistic. And that's because the way they've sampled the piano in here is that, that this is you know a live sampling of an actual grand piano and they've close mic'd it. Um, and they've caught a lot of the overtones, the high overtones you get when you uh, play something in on piano. You know, you get that sympathetic vibration from the higher strings, and the, you hear that crispness, that those high overtones when you play. And that's really dope. So that's Ravenscroft 275. The last I checked, this one was 35 bucks. Now you'll notice. These first two are not the cheapest as far as, you know, AUV3 plugins go for iOS. There are a lot cheaper ones out there, but these two are well worth the cost. Ravenscroft 275, there's not a better live piano out there um, on, the, on the App Store. I'll stand by that. Um, so, well worth the money. Um, the desktop version of this same thing goes for around $200, $250. So you're getting kind of a steal on the iPad for 35 bucks. So we'll go to the next one. This is the Moog Model D plugin. And this is a killer AUV3 loaded with a lot of old vintage sounds, analog sounding uh, sounds that have been sampled in here. So obviously you got your classic synths. You've got, you know, it's all broken down by uh, what type of instrument it is here. The thing I use Moog Model D for the most is definitely basses. Some of my favorites are the Chubb bass. And then I've definitely used a couple others. Let's see. Oh, the Jabba bass, I've used that one. That one's killer right there. If I if I could buy Moog Model D for just that sound, oh, did I mention <laughs> Moog Model D is free? Yes, the Mini Moog, uh, the, the the Moog Model D synth is free. So if you haven't downloaded this, I don't know what you're doing. Like after you watch this video, for sure, go cop this on the App Store. Oh, Ryan Strickland says, dang, the Moog Model D is going for ten bucks now. All right. All right, thank you for checking. Thank you for price checking me for sure. 10 bucks is still a steal for the Moog Model D. I would, I would definitely cop it for 10 bucks. And yeah, it's worth it because it's loaded with great sounds, but the Java bass is definitely one of my favorites, so. Think of like some E40 type stuff whenever I hear that. The next one, the, the, the last, but definitely not the least, one of my favorites, for sure is Housemark One. It's an audio kit AUV3 plugin, but it's by Henny the Business, who, if you guys aren't up on Henny the Business, 
He's one of the pioneers of, you know, exactly what we do. That's iPad music production. So check out his channel. I'll try to remember to link it down in the description, but you can search up Henny the Business. This is his, you know, kind of a sampling of, you know, your classic electric piano. So it's a Rhodes sound, you know, and it's loaded with a lot of really good presets. My favorite is actually Letter to Nat, which is by Jeff Cooper. So really soulful, really dope sounding um, samples here. One of my favorites, I go to it very often. So that's what these four that I just showed you are. They're my go-tos. They're not the only sounds I use, but I use these heavily in everything that I do. So definitely check out each one of these. I'll try to remember to link those in the description if I can, but that's the uh, Korg's Module Pro. That is Ravenscroft 275 by UVI. And then the Moog Model D. And then you've got Housemark 1 by Henny the Business. If you haven't already, definitely pop out of this video. Give this video a like. What it does is uh, it, it tells YouTube that you like this kind of content. It triggers the algorithm. They're like, oh, so you like this kind of stuff, huh? Here's some more. And it's a win-win because obviously my videos get put in front of you more, but also videos you know, from other creators that you might enjoy in the same realm of what I do here, you'll start getting those recommendations. So definitely make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell so you know exactly when I drop another video. I go live every single Tuesday talking about music production tips and uh, tutorials and gear reviews um, all in the realm of music production. So you don't want to miss that. Make sure you're subscribed.